Well, a very good evening from Phuket, and tonight I've come to a district called Rawai. We're going to start off with a restaurant that I have covered in the past. It's called the Rawai Boat Noodle Restaurant. I will also link at the top of the screen my original video. We're not really focusing on the restaurant tonight. I'm just going to show it you very, very quickly because it's a great place to come and have some food because we're going to actually have a look at the Rawai Nayam area by this restaurant at night because there's lots of bars open and everything so that's what we're going to be concentrating on but let's first of all just take a very brief look at the menu and it is only going to be very brief because they have a very thick menu and I'm not going to spend ages on the menu because it gets boring so I'm going to quickly show you the menu for the drinks or the shakes you can see the sort of prices 50 70 45 baht and then we've got some coffees hot chocolate prices vary from 35 up to ooh, 60 baht so not too expensive i'm sure you're going to agree on the drinks even though we are now in a tourist area so again menu quickly through it um, noodles 60 baht of course they specialize in noodles here but they do a beautiful papillar salad i used to come here for the beef papillar salad because it's one of the few places that actually does beef papillar salads and then you've got all your typical rice dishes thai dishes around 60 to 70 baht so again this is just a great place to come you've got beef curries 160 fried beef with sweet chili 140 again a very large menu so I'm not going to list it all up I'm just going to flick through it but you can see the price is 160 150 so nothing extortionate on here they do a little bit of European food not too much they do a beef masaman which is very good and then uh, the beef papilla that I used to come and have before that's 120 and then I'm just going to show you briefly the restaurant it's actually very busy tonight they used to shut it five o'clock during the covid period and we stopped coming because the only day we could come was on a tuesday they're closed now on a wednesday they open at 10 in the morning and they close at 8 p.m in the night time so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to look through the menu myself decide on what i'm going to have to eat put the order in then when the food arrives i'm going to quickly show it you okay well the food has just arrived so we're going to take a look at what we've ordered okay so i have ordered the spicy beef with noodles and vegetables we've also had the papillar salad the beef papillar salad I should make that clear and Nat has had the beef noodle so we've all, all beef tonight this is a Muslim business so they don't have pork here so Nat has had just a normal beef noodle with also beef meatballs in there as well this papillar salad here is absolutely delicious we used to come here especially for this so the beef served separately and then you just put it and mix it in yourself and then I'm trying a new dish I haven't tried this one before this one is the spicy beef with noodle and vegetables I'm looking forward to trying that just wait a minute. okay well you'll have to excuse me because now i'm going to tuck in and enjoy my food i shall come back to you once we've finished let you know my verdict on these dishes i can already tell you what the papillar salad is going to be like and that's going to be delicious okay well i've finished my spicy beef noodle with vegetables and i've got to say it was absolutely delicious if you're looking for beef dishes then this is the restaurant to come to here in Rawai. it's just they're just really good at what they do with the beef some of the best beef I've had anywhere across the island of Phuket to be honest with you I've got half my beef noodles around my mouth still as you can see I've made short work of the beef noodles we have got some popular salad left simply because I had chicken with cashew nuts at lunchtime and I'm absolutely stuffed now normally when we go out we don't order three dishes but for the purpose of the video and the camera that's why we're ordering three but we're going to take this away because Nat's had her noodles and as you can see there's not a lot left in there she's at them and she said was they good Nat yeah give me the no so we're going to take the papillar salad away and I'm going to have that either later on or tomorrow now as I've said this video isn't really about this restaurant tonight it's actually about the local area so in a moment we're going to pay the bill and we're going to put the stuff in the bike and then I shall come back to you and we shall take a look 
around at this local area. Well, we just left the restaurant. There it is behind us. We've paid the bill. It came to 295 baht. So I think you saw what we had. I had a Coke and Nat had... Yeah, that's what I said, 295. Um, Nat had a watermelon shake and I had a Coke along with the food. We've put the paviar salad in the bike, which is just behind us. Absolutely delicious, the food. Highly recommend you check this out, this restaurant out, if you're in the area. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a walk along this area and I'm going to show you what it's like at night. Quite a lot of businesses, bars, massage shops, uh, places to eat, restaurants, all manner of different businesses. Okay, so we're going to work our way from the restaurant down towards the traffic lights. Now let me explain the area we're in. We're in an area known as a Rawai. Now a lot of people when they think of Rawai, like myself, think of the beach area and there is a beach here in Rawai. But this area actually is quite large, Rawai. It's a lot larger than you think. We're actually only five minutes away from Naham Beach. Now, over the years, I've always referred to this area as Naham, when technically it's not really ne Naham, it is part of Rawai. So the last time I made a video on this area, I inadvertently called it N Naham Town, which really it isn't Naham Town, because Naham doesn't actually have a town. This is something that over the years I've personally called this area Naham Town, because it's very close to Naham. But technically it is classed as a roll Y. So just for those out there that like to pick fault with videos, because I did have somebody send me a message saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. This is Rawai, not Naham, blah, 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 blah. When in actual fact, I know that that's the case. But Naham is a sub-district of Rawai. And as I say, we're very close. So I, I personally class this area as Naham Town. So you can see quite a few massage shops along here. You're going to find lots and lots of different businesses, small restaurants, lots of choice here, whether you're looking for Thai food, European food. This is a great area to stay in. I really like it because you're so close to Naham Beach. And of course, most people know Naham Beach. It's a fantastic beach here on the island of Phuket. If you haven't seen a video on Naham Beach, then go and check out one of my or some of my older videos because I've done quite a lot of videos a couple of years ago they're still relevant you can see Naham Beach I've done some recent ones on Naham Beach I've also done some recent ones on the Rawai area where I mentioned that I would be covering this area a lot more which this tonight is obviously covering a different area to the last time that I covered and I'm going to try and mix it up a bit on the channel as I've said so you get a mixture of all different stuff so it gives you a better impression of the Phuket Island. I'm going to cover some of the tourist areas, some of the non-tourist areas because not everybody wants to be stuck in the tourist area. Some people want to go out and have a little bit more authentic um, feeling from Thailand rather than just the tourist areas. Again we've got a pharmacy here, a salon, lots of businesses the other side. I'm only going to go to the lights because this is quite a large area. You can turn left at these lights which will take you down to Naham Beach and there's loads more businesses and bars and restaurants down that section which I will cover on a separate video because I've got to walk past the other way a little bar there or restaurant actually sorry cab it's a restaurant and then next door to that we have a laundry shop and then there's a kebab place just before the tra traffic lights which is somewhere that I've me been meaning to try actually and I want to try in the coming months so you're gonna see a lot of videos I've already filmed about three or four restaurants that I haven't yet uploaded I've got to edit them but I don't like I say I don't want to put them all back to back and the same with different stuff I want to try and mix it up and break it down a little bit now where's the kebab shop I thought it was here ah there it is I can just see it so if you're into kebabs there's one here supposed to be very good I haven't yet tried it I'm gonna there it is let's just have a quick look on the menu board there you can see that hopefully so they started about 80 baht and go up from there but that's somewhere I want to try okay Nat 
So as I say, at the traffic lights, you can turn left here, that will take you down to Nahan Beach. You can turn right there, go follow that road, and that will take you into the top end of Kata that way so we're going to make our way back down the road and we're going to look at the other side of the road now as we go past and there is some bars in the bottom section on the opposite side to where we were at the restaurant so I've come down this way first I'm just trying to make my way across this road because it's quite a busy road here again another small restaurant here mini mart there Swaddy cab not quite sure what they do here but I'm guessing a lot of Thai food by the looks of the chickens maybe a, a lot of chicken stuff in there I don't know I've got fish as well and then there's a resort here the Naham Green Valley Resort it's called it's not I don't think it's actually open it used to be but it looks like that's closed And then another small restaurant, so you can see plenty of choice restaurants. Then we got a 7-Eleven, we've got a Lotus, so plenty of convenience shops, pharmacies, everything you're going to need around here. And the bar section is just the other end of this road, as you will see as we come down for it. It's actually quite a number of bars down here, quite a good area to come and have a drink. Now this area does have the working girls in there of course so if you're here with your family then maybe those bars are not going to be that suitable for you. Nat just warning me there with the car. I tend to, because I'm looking around a lot um, to see what I can film etc. I'm not always watching what I'm doing even though I should be and that car was coming pretty quick around there. I'm trying to miss the cars. Another small restaurant there. So as you can see great choice just here. Plenty of hotels in this area, guest houses, different styles of accommodation. Yeah? Yeah. My friend is a fan of you, you know, that one over there. He's a fan, he's scared, he's scared. Yeah. This guy, he's, he's a, a fan, he's a fan. That's part of the reason I'm out uh, Really? Yeah, man. Nice to meet you, man. I watched your videos on, um, online. You was in the market and that, innit? Ah, oh, okay. A couple of videos in the market. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see a couple of your videos. Okay, you enjoying yourself? I literally just got here today, yeah. yeah. Really? Ah, yeah. oh, you're going to have a party, guys. <laughs> you're going to have a party, you're going to love it. Trust me, all the bars are down there and down there. So you're staying here, are you? Yeah. In this area? Yeah. Okay, a few people that recognise me there. Apologies for that. So we've got a tour shop now, that's throwing me now. <laughs> and then massage, a couple of massage places that I've seen up to now, but there's loads around here to be honest. And we're going to work our way down to, like, as I say, the bar section and take a look. I'm not going to go inside the bar area, obviously, because I'll have loud music on. And we're just going to take a look from the outside, but it's a great little area. One of the guys in that group actually follows my YouTube channel. He said oh, I'm the reason why he's out here, so because he's been watching my uh, videos. So first time over here. Uh, they've only just arrived today because I asked him how he was finding it, and he said, "Well, we literally just arrived, so they're looking for somewhere to eat." And I've just recommended the noodle place uh, to have some noodles and that where we've just been, and a few other places to him. Another massage shop, so lots and lots of massage shops. Now where you can see all the lights down there, that is coming into the bar area. Another restaurant here. So if you're staying in this area, you have no issues at all with finding somewhere to eat. Now obviously I can't tell you what all these different restaurants are like. I can only vouch for the one that we've just been, been in, but I'm sure there are many, many more good ones here. place there, looks like they do fish, some large fish in there. And then another massage place over there. So if you're looking for massage, you're going to be spot for choice around here. And then there's a restaurant come bar across the road. Now obviously I'm not going to walk all the way to the end of this road because it is quite long and this is one of the reasons why I'm going to have to break 
the series on row Y down into manageable chunks otherwise it'll just be too long because the areas the, the district of row Y is very very large not the main town area obviously around the beach isn't that big now I think that's a restaurant over there called the bank just across the road and then we have a bar section so this is some of the bars here on the one side now there's more than one bar in there so they're, they're like lots of small separate bars I don't know whether you can see that from the outside as I say I don't want to go in because they're playing loud music but there's lots of individual bars inside of there so somewhere to try and check out and then on the left hand side we have another section again these are all individual bars they're not all one bar they're all little separate ones so a great place to come and uh, check out it's a bit quiet at the moment because it's only eight o'clock in the evening to be honest with you but there are people about there are tourists it's getting better and better all the time i love the name of that boobs bar i think that's just great so a reasonable choice of bars just in this area but there are some more not too far away but as i said i'm trying to walk rather than go on the bike because you see more when i'm walking than if i'm on the bike riding around you're going to miss a lot so another small place here there was accommodation here i don't know if they're still doing the accommodation it just says bar and restaurant now and then a coffee shop next door a few more shops but this road carries all the way down there's a large hotel down there more accommodation there's a lot more restaurants we'll explore that area on a separate video okay well i hope you've enjoyed this short tour of some of the railway area now i'm not going to do what i did last time and call it Neham town because technically it's not it's part of railway maybe a place you want to check out i'm going to do some more videos from this area it's a great area to come and visit if you're not staying here or look at some accommodation in this area because it's got a great choice as i say you're very close to the railway beach Neham beach Kata Beach is only 5-10 minutes from here but I hope you've enjoyed it seeing some of the restaurants and some of the things businesses that you can find here that are open massage shops etc bars just down the road there's a really good choice of bars lots more further down the road but too far to walk the other way lots and lots more I'm going to break it down as I say this area and we're going to be seeing a lot more from this area both daytime and nighttime so watch out for those videos do check the description down below all the details the location etc where i am will be in there and i guess that just leaves me to say as always thanks for watching and until next time you take care and i'll catch you on the next one <laughs>